Shalmud Bavli Gemara Brachot, Perak Rebiyi, page uh, Daf Lamed Aleph, chapter 4, page 38, and we're just starting from the last three words on the previous page. Amar Abaye, Abaye said, Le'olam always lishatef inash nashe behade tibura. A person should associate himself with a tibur, a congregation. Hechi neima, how should he say it? Yeratim ofenech Hashem alakeinu, may be your will Hashem our God. Shetali cheinu l'shalom v'chule, that you lead us towards peace. Eima t'metzale, when does he recite this prayer? So at what point in his journey does he say it? Amar Rabbi Yaakov, Amar Rav Chista, Rabbi Yaakov said in the name of Rav Chista, Misha'ah Shema Alech Baderech, from the moment that he travels along the way. Ad Kama, until when can he recite it? Amar Rabbi Yaakov, Amar Rav Chista, Rabbi Yaakov said in the name of Rav Chista, Ad Parasa, until a Parasa, Vehechi Metzalela, and how does he pray it? In what position does he pray it? Rav Chista, Amar Me'umad, Rav Chista said, standing in one place. Rav Sheshit Amar Afilu Mehalech, Rav Sheshit said, even while traveling. Rav Chista, Rav Sheshit Havu Ka'azalei Ba'orcha, Rav Chista and Rav Sheshit were traveling along the road. Kam Rav Chista Vaka Metzale, Rav Chista stood still and prayed. Amar Le Rav Sheshit Le Shamaye, Shamaye, Rav Sheshit said to his attendant, Maika Avid Rav Chista, what is Rav Chista doing? Amale Ka'e Motsale, he's standing still and praying, replied the attendant. Amale Rav Shesha said back to the attendant, Uka Ukma, sorry, Okman Nami Lediti Atsale, stand me up also and I will pray, Miyotov Al Tikare Ra. If you can be good, do not be called bread, do not be called bad. <coughs> So, um, because the other person had stopped and stood up, uh, he also wanted to do the same. Maika ben hevi havineinu litfila kitsara. What's the difference between havineinu and a short prayer? Havineinu ba'e letzaluye shalosh kamayata ve shalosh betraita. The havineinu prayer, one must pray the first three and the last three blessings of Shemon Esrei, V'chi matei levete lo baye lemedar letzaluye. When he reaches his house, he does not need to go back and say Shemon Esrei. B'tfilak tzara, with regard to short prayer, however, lo baye letzaluye lo shalosh kamayata velo shalosh betraita. He need not pray either the first three all the last three blessings of Shemon Esrei. V'chi matei levete and when he reaches his house, he must go back and pray. And the law is, Havineno is said standing, and a short prayer can be said either standing or while traveling. The Mishnah says, So if one was running on a donkey, uh, and that is the time for him to arrived and he should uh, get off and pray. Tana Rabbanan, the Rabbi's Jordan Abraisa, Hayara Chebal HaChamor, Vehigiaz Mantvila, if you're riding on a donkey and the time for prayer arrived, Im Yesh Lo Mi Sheyochaz Et Chamora, if he has someone to hold his donkey uh, while he's praying, Yered Lamatavid Palel, he should dismount and pray. The Im Love, if he doesn't, Yeshev bin Komovi Palel, and he sits in his place on the donkey and prays. Rabbi Omer, the Rabbi says, Ben Kach o Ben Kach. In either case, Yeshev bin Komovi Palel, he sits in his place and prays. The fish ain't at all, me or Shevet Allah, because his mind is not settled. That is, if he gets off, uh, he will worry about other things like losing travel time, and that will disturb him. Amar Rav Ve'itema Rabbi Yosho ben Levi Rava, and some say it was Rabbi Yosho ben Levi said, Halacha Karabi, the law is in accordance with Rabbi. Um, now we're just going to scroll down. Okay. 
So on the screen, we're at the very top, <coughs> on the top line, where it's Tanarabhanan. On the page, we are um, about almost halfway down the page. Um, there are two dots. It starts uh, Tafresh Tanarabhanan. Tanarabhanan, the rabbis taught in Abraisa, Suma, a blind person, Umisheino Yako Lechaven et Haruchot. So, someone who's unable to discern the, uh, the directions, uh, that is north, south, east, and west, Yechaven Libo Keneged Aviv Shebeshamayim, he should direct his heart towards uh, his father in heaven. Shnemar, as it says, the hit palalo el Hashem and they will pray to Hashem. Haya or me bechut la aret, if you're standing outside Eretz Israel, Yechaven et libo keneged Eretz Israel, you should direct his heart towards Eretz Israel. Shema, as it says, the hit palalo alecha elecha derecha at Sam, they will pray to you by way of their land. Haya or me beret Israel, if I'm standing in Eretz Israel, Yechaven et libo keneged Yerushalayim, he should direct his heart towards Yerushalayim. Shema, as it says, the hit palalo el Hashem derecha yashabachata, and they will pray to Hashem by way of the city that you have chosen. Ya or maybe your shalim, if you're standing in Jerusalem, Yechaven et libo keneged beit hamikdash, he should direct his heart towards the temple. Shnemaz, it says, Vihit palo el habayt hazeh, no pray toward, towards this house. Haya omed beit hamikdash, if you're standing in the temple, Yechaven et libo keneged beit kodshe hakadoshim, he should direct his, hearts to, his heart towards the chamber of the holy of holies. Shemav he palo el hamakom hase and they'll pray towards this place. Hayama beveta kad kad she hakadoshim. If I'm standing inside the chamber of the holy of holies, yechaven et libo keneged beta kaporet. He should direct his heart towards the chamber of the ark kava. So this is a reference to the Kohen Gadol on Yom Kippur when he was standing between the two curtains and separated from the Kadosh HaKadoshim. Or if there were workers who needed to enter and repair something there. Hayao medachore beit hakaporet if on standing behind the chamber of the Akava yire atzmo keilu lifnei hakaporet he should envision himself as if before the Ark cover. So if you're between the back wall of the Holy of Holies and the western wall of the courtyard, so there was a space of 11 amot there, uh, if you're standing there, uh, he should turn his face eastwards towards the chamber of the Ark. Nimsa Omed Bemizrach Machazir Panav Lamarav, it emerges that one standing in the east turns his face towards the west. Bemarav Machazir Panav Lamizrach, and in the west he turns his face towards the east. But Darom Machazir Panav Letzafon, in the south turns his face towards the north. But Safon Machazir Panav Letzarom, and in the north turns his face towards the south. Nimsa U Kolisra Mecha Mecha. Vunin et libam lemakomechat emerges that all of Israel directs their hearts to one place. Ama Rabbi Avin v'itema Rabbi Avina Rabbi Avin said and some say it was Rabbi Avini Rabbi Avina. My kraa, what is the verse? So what's the uh, what's the source for this out of Tanakh? Kemik dal David varech banui lit letalpiot. Like the Tower of David is your neck, built as a landmark. Talpiot is a combination of Tel and which is a hill, and Piot which is a mouth. Tel Shekol Piot Ponimbo, a hill that is the Temple Mount, towards which all mouths turn. Avuha Dishmo Velevi Ki Havu Ba'u Lemepak Le Orcha Shmol's father and Levi when they wish to set out on a journey Havo 
Makdame or Metale, they would pray Shmon Esre before uh, at home before day. Vehi Hava Matez Mankriya Shma Karu, and later when the time for a sunny Shma would arrive, they would say it. They would say it then. Kaman, in accordance with what opinion is this? Ki hai tana de tanya, in accordance with the following tana, for it was taught in a baraisa. Hish, hishkim la tzed la derech, one arose early to set out on the way. Bevin lo shofar v'tokeh, they bring him a shofar, uh, if it's on Rosh Hashanah, and he blows, lulav, ume ne'a, lulav, and he waves it. Megillah v'kareba, and Megillah, and he reads from it. Uch she yagia zman kriya shma koreh, uh, and when the time for reciting Shema arrives, he recites it. Hishkim leshev bekaron o bisfina. One arose, if one arose early to take his place in a wagon or a boat, mid palel he prays, that is the Shema Nezre, before sitting out. O sheagiyaz man kriyashma koreh. And when the time for reciting Shema arrives, he recites it. Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar Omer, Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar says, Ben kach o ben kach, in either case, Kore Kriya Shma Palel who recites Shma and prays while travelling, Kdeshe Smok Geula Litvila, so to join redemption to prayer. Bamai Kam Kami Flage, regarding what do they disagree? Ma Sabat Vila Me Umad Adif, one master, the Tanakama holds that prayer while standing is preferable, or Ma Savar Mismak Ula Litvila Adif. While the other master, Shimon ben, Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar, holds that joining redemption, uh, the blessing of redemption, to tefillah, to prayer, is preferable. Mereymar Omar Zutra Havo Mechanfei Be Asara Beshata Derigla Umatz. Umetzalu Mereymar Mazutra would gather together ten people on Shabbos preceding the festival and pray. Vahadar Nafke Lefirka, and then they would go out to deliver a lecture. Ravashi Metzale Behade Tsibura Beachid Meyushav Ravashi on Shabbos would pray privately at the same time as the congregation while sitting. That is, he wouldn't pray early before the lecture. Rather, when the time for Shema came, he would say to the mature Gavan, to the announcer, a large portion of the lecture. When he would come home after the lecture, Hadar he would pray again while standing in order to say the prayer with more concentration. Amre le Rabbanan, the rabbi said to him, Ve le evid ma kem rimar, kem reimar, umar zutra. Let the master do as mareimar and ma zutra. He'll pray early before going to the lecture. Amalehu, he replied, Trichali milta. It is too troublesome for me to delay after, to delay the lecture until after the, I pray. Ve le evid ma kavuha dishmuel ve levi. Then the rabbi said again, Let the master. Jewish Shmuel's father and Levi, who prayed Shmuel Esre beforehand. Amalu, he said to them, Lo chazeina lehul rabbanan kashishei minan de'avtei hachi. I have not observed the rabbis who are our seniors doing thus. Mishnah. Rabbi Elazar ben Azari Omer, Rabbi Elazar ben Azari says, Ein tefilat ha-musafin ela bechever ir. The musaf prayer is only with an assembly of the town, that is, a congregation of ten men, and not privately. Bechachem imomrim, and the sages say, Bechever ir v'shelo bechever ir, with an assembly of the town and without an assembly of the town, uh, that is, even an individual must say the musaf prayer. Rabbi Oda Omer Mishmo, Rabbi Oda reported in his name, any place where there is an assembly of the town, an individual is exempt from the, from the Musaf prayer. Gemara. Rabbi Yoda Hainu Tanakama Rabbi Yoda is the same 
uh, as the opinion of Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah, uh, which, as said by the Tanakhama. Ika ben Ayehu yachid shelo bechaveir. The difference between them is an individual where there is no assembly of the town, that is, no congregation. Tana kama sava patur, the Tana kama holds that the individual is exempt. The Rabbi Yoda sava chaya, whereas Rabbi Yoda, in the name of Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah, holds that he is obligated. Ama Rav Huna bar Chinana, Ama Rav Chia bar Rav. Rav Huna bar Chinana said in the name of Rav Chia bar Rav, Halacha ker Rabbi Yoda shema mishum Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah. They are halacha is in accordance with Rabbi Yoda in the name of Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah. Ama le Rav Chia bar Avin, Rav Chia bar Avin said to him. Shapir Kamat, you have spoken correctly. Da Ama Shmuel, for Shmuel said, Miyamai lo mitzalena tzalota de Musafim biyachid. In all my life, I never prayed the Musaf prayer privately. I'll just continue on the next, top of the next page. Binehadea in Nehadea. Levad mehahu yomad atapul musa de malka lamata, except for that day when the king's army came to town, vitridu, rabbana velot, talo, and the rabbis were disturbed and did not pray, vitali, libiachid, so I pray privately, vavayachid, shalobecheveir, but being an individual without an assembly of the town.